off the shores of Florida, Discovery Family Channel, along with the University of Miami Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science, join forces to tag, pull it out, study, That's pupil right is getting here. smaller, and release the sea's most notorious predator, the shark. Come along as we interact with these magnificent creatures to better understand their environment. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Neil. We're really excited to sh go out in the water today and teach you about sharks and, and show you how we do our research. So let's head on out to the boat and I'll explain to you what we do. The reason we're out here doing this research is because it's critical to the health of the environment and our ocean ecosystem. We're gonna go look for sharks. We're gonna figure out what species are there, how many there are, why are they there in those areas, and try to figure out what the best strategy is for the species that need the most help. So the first thing that we do, we insert a hose inside the shark's mouth that is pumping water straight from the ocean directly into the shark's mouth and over its gills. Have you guys noticed how calm the shark is? Yeah. yeah. That's because when you put the hose in their mouth, it acts like a pacifier. We then quickly test the shark's reflex by taking a small syringe of water, squirting it in the shark's eye to see if they react by raising their nictitating membrane. Something like a little protective inner eyelid we measure the shark with a tape measure along several points of their body to see how their body shape changes as they grow, gives an idea of their health and their growth rates. FL 160. I got FL on EPPO. Throughout the process, we continuously put water along the shark's body in order to keep it moist and control its temperature. After that, we take a small tissue sample from the fin. We do that where there's no blood supply, no nerve supply, kind of just like this elastic protein that's similar to your nail. Keep that in a big cut. Awesome. We take a, a tag, which has a unique barcode that we can then identify that animal if we capture it again or if someone else captures it. Now, Brenda's gonna get some blood here. We draw blood from the shark and analyze it on the boat. That's what we want, that's the plasma. Right before release, we also do a second reflex test on the shark. And then we carefully remove the hook. Ready to release it, guys? Remove the pump. And let it swim off. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have more fascinating facts coming up on Shark Days of Summer.